Peggy 12. Hi, this is Dan Moskowitz. I'm going to walk you through some examples of what our new simulation engine, Glassbox, can do. These demonstrations are all about showing off simulation behavior and not graphics. Here's a coal power plant. It's a simulation unit. It contains resources like coal and workers. When active, it runs simulation rules that use up coal and create power and air pollution. Effects and animation are tied directly to simulation rules. So what you see is always a one-to-one -one representation of what the simulation is doing. This fire station is also a simulation unit. You can drop in additional units like garages to extend the functionality of your buildings. Maps define a distribution of resources throughout the environment. Forests, water, pollution are all represented as maps. The terrain is built out of map layers as well. In this example, we see a terrain composed of bedrock, coal, and soil. Agents are simulation entities that carry resources from one unit to another. The most common types of agents in SimCity are pedestrians and vehicles, which travel along player-defined paths. The simulator is designed to support tens of thousands of agents. Agents trigger simulation rules when they arrive at their destination, but no rules run during transit. Agents can also carry other types of resources throughout the city. They can drop off a portion of power or water at each building and then be resent. Water taken from the water map is repackaged into an agent and sent along pipes. Zones are defined as an area along a path. Zones run rules to create new units, in this case, residential construction sites. Agents, such as construction trucks and moving vans, deliver construction materials and new citizens. Thanks for watching.